Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Leather Pet here today. Today, I'm going over the offensive RPS and Sparking Zero. If you guys haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I also do touch a little bit over after image strike, but I'll probably make a whole different video on that. But yeah, let's not talk about this too long. Let's get straight into the video, and yeah. Alright, so when it comes to hitting someone in the front, combos like this, most of the time you could go into up light and a combo sometimes, um, but not really. So most of the time right here is RPS. So people like to hold perception, which is B. So if they hold perception here, and uh, you're able to grab them, grab them out of the perception, and this leads you to go into any move that is basically a rush. I just messed up here because I didn't do my grab fast enough, but just imagine that worked, right? If you had grab, you could go into moves like that. Okay. Now, another one of this is, remember, so the mind game here is RPS, right? Because it's not really your turn. So, people can do up square here to get out of your combo. So, if people get out of your combo here, um, sometimes uh, you can do stuff like this. And then you, this would be perception too. And with key blast, you're able to combo. So you guys can see. You're able to combo. Uh, yeah, so this also beats perception. Alright, now you're like, what if a lot of players do perception, which is hold, and then to the side. Okay, so now to beat this is, sometimes what I like to do is this. This will go behind perception. And depending on how fast they do their sidestep, you beat their sidestep. And you go behind them. Alright. One that I like to do also. That works on good players. And not too many people that are massing is. I'll do light, light, light. That's up. Look at you. And then sidestep. Which is delayed. Just to cast your sidestep first. Because if I'm sidestepping your sidestep. I'm behind you. And I get to do my own combo. So. That is the mind game there. When you're, going to, when you're hitting someone from the back. Basically back shots. Right. You're basically able to do your combo. Right. So here, the only way you could get out is doing up triangle. So if they get your up triangle, uh, they could basically counter it and they hit you away. All right. So now how you deal with this? How you deal with this is basically you kind of quote unquote drop your combo, but not really, right? So you would do a different starter, right? So since I say I do charge here, right? Charge a little bit. Uh, this will kind of mess up their timing on me hitting them. Which will lead me to messing up the, the counter, cause right? So basically how lights work is one, two, three, right? But if I did one, two, slow kick, it's a different timing, right? You see, these are all different timings, right? And if you're hitting up, up in square, you're, most of the time you're not blocking. So stuff like this that usually can be blocked, you're messing them up because they're trying to get out of combo, which is guaranteed. Uh, and, but that's why you do an unguaranteed combo, right? With still combos if they're not blocking. So it, it, the only way it doesn't combo is if they block. So you're able to go around people and smoke them for this. So this is how you can also mess them up. You can also mess up people by charging a little bit slightly on the light. Uh, charge down light. Charge uh, down medium. Stuff like that, right? Because once you do a little bit of a charge down medium, you go up to... You could go into another combo, which is here. Which is, you know, light, light. Uh, you can even grab them sometimes if you want to grab them. And then go on it super if you don't want to make it too long. Uh, but this, if you want to, you know, do stuff, you're able to do this. Basically, basically a different combo starter, all right? So this is really, really good. Um, kind of, so there's a move called after image strike. So I'll touch on after image strike too, a little bit. So I need to transform. Uh, just to show you how it works. So, after image strike is basically every time I have this move on, I can't make. Oh, actually, I can't make the fire. So, let me show you really quick. I'm going to have them on melee and I'm going to put my controller down. This is automatically vanishes for me, right? Automatically. For maybe like 10 seconds, I would say. So, when you hear me talk about. Uh, look, that's actually a great example. So, you saw what Android 17 did there, right? Android 17 there saw the key blast. So, when someone is an after image strike, the way to counter it is hitting it with key blast. They can't counter key blast. So, you can do key blast, key blast, grab. Alright? Kick them away from me. This is another way to beat it. So, uh, this is like just basically to run out their time. 
Also, when it comes to up damage strikes, you have to make sure you're really good at doing your up squares and your reversal options. Just because you're trying to waste time. You kind of want to go into the vanish stuff, like the, you know, the long ass vanish in. Alright, so the only tell is you have to tell, look at that meter. So since this cost three bars, see how it goes down to one? So now if you know a character have after damage strike, you can just be like, oh, okay, you put on after damage strike. Right? Uh, so th this is your tell. Alright, so this is your only tell, so may may be making sure if someone has three bars, and they are, uh, you know, there's after damage strike using, make sure you're looking at that bar. Because most of the time, if they go to three to four, and you don't see them put a power up up, like, see how this is a power up? See how it gave me stuff like this, and I wasted my bar? This is how you know you have a power up. But, you know I use after damage strike if you don't see my power ups, and I lost meter. So, most of the characters that have after damage strike always have a power up, from what I kind of know. Uh, so this is how you kind of beat it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll touch on it again. But so basically, for for after damage strike, you kind of want to go into key blast because this is the only thing they can't evade and it won't just make them miss. You can grab them, and also one of the times you want to do is when they're hitting you is make sure you do your up squares. Uh, because you want to waste time and kind of do the vanishing stuff, right? Because the after damage strike is on a cooldown, and you kind of want to do it. The only thing that is ugly about the vanishing strike that I will say is you're giving them more skill more skill more skill points to give them back after them strike. Right? but you also don't want to fight it so unless you're getting combo that's the only reason why I would use it other than that I would kind of just be trying to keep them away with key blocks and everything um so that's kind of like the mind game and stuff so a lot of the mind games when it comes to stuff on block this can be blocked this can be blocked but, it's also really, really fast, and a lot of players are either holding perception, dashing, most of the time they're not blocking, right? So, this is really, really fast. If they're not holding block instantly, they can't, like, they, if they're holding block instantly, then they're able to block it. But most of the time, people are moving like this and this and stuff like that, right? So, you could get away with stuff like this. Also, when people are doing uplight... You could get away with stuff like this. Remember, they're trying to get out of your combo, which is true, which is this, right? Uh, they're trying to get off of that, but you're messing up their timing for stuff. So a lot of the times when you play someone really, really good, you kind of want to mess up with their timings a lot. Because this allows you to continue your combo game, while also them not disturbing it. Mm -hmm. Also, when you play this game, make sure you're tagging a good amount. So if you're tagging... This usually gives every character one bar back when they're just chilling for a bit. I can't really show you in training mode, but make sure you're actively tagging because you want to regen health. You don't want your character to die because when your characters die, you are at a huge deficit. Especially when there's stuff in this game where you're running out of time, right? Because remember, after image strike, right? You're running, you're kind of wasting time trying to avoid it. So make sure your characters are always healed and stuff like that. Uh... That's kind of like how I kind of deal with it and with the base of it. Obviously, there's more stuff. Like, sometimes you can do light, light, see them perception, and do this, right? You don't got to do the whole string. You're messing up their combo. Sometimes you can also do this to mess up their combo, right? For perception and stuff like that because they're trying to Z-counter because that's also a new combo starter. So, stuff like that is really, really good. When it comes to uh, neutral and stuff like that, most of the time, I kind of play uh, a reactive game. Like, I kind of just kind of look at you, see when you're going to hit, and then I hit, you know, uh, the sidestep just to go around you and dodge your hit. Perception is really, really good. Uh, this can be held, but this takes key, as you guys can tell. Like, when you see how my key going down. But you can also tap it and move like this, so you're not using it as much. This is really, really good, because if you think someone's going to hit you, this is just a way to, you know, stop people from, like, just massing. And they kind of have to, like, think about where they're massing. So, I would recommend doing this, you know, just in neutral sometimes. Doing this, block, uh, this, key blast, stuff like this. It's just really, really good in neutral. Uh, if people don't know how to stop perception, and you are using it, I'm not going to lie, you probably will get all the way to A rank, uh, without, just by, just by using perception. Because that's how good it is. Basically, it counters everything. Uh, if you have no meter, it only, it only counters melee attack. So don't use it on stuff like that. 
if you have the perfect, uh, which is one bar, if you have perfect perception, you can hold it, and it basically ends up hitting them. So let me just show you guys that really quick. Mm. Hold on. You see how he hits them away, stuff like that. That's really, really good. That has one bar, but I have my thing on max right now. So let me just take this back off. I don't want him comboing me. Wait, hold up! <laughs> right there, I did a reverse on a beam. Uh, that's basically what per perfect perception. Uh, if you have two bars with the blue, you kind of person you can deflect the beam. But yeah, perception is the B button. If you play on standard, it is triangle and circle. If you play on classic. Uh, honestly, when it comes to this game, uh, there is going to be a lot of tech when it comes to discovery. I'm not really going to cover that at the moment. I kind of want to show you guys just the basics on everything. When it comes to the basics and everything, you want to... Thank you for this up, Kevin. Thank, the, what you really want to do is just master this. Master your side step. Side steps are probably the most important at the moment when it comes to this. Uh, I use standard. I made a video on it, on my thing, and you can see every one of my buttons. So let's go to exclamation point YT. Uh, but yeah, I use standard. Basically, I use standard because I think one button perception is better than two button perception. <laughs> I'm just making it quite short. But yeah, I would master your side steps because your side steps is really, really good when it comes to just avoiding people's attack and starting your, your offense, right? So sometimes if someone's blocking, you can do light, 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 and do this, right? Uh, now if they're blocking and you know they're gonna dodge, you do that. Perception, right? Jab, jab, jab. Delay, jab, jab, jab. Right? Uh, it all comes to knowing your opponent's habits and you have to understand what their habits are, which I covered in the video. Uh, like what, well, options, I'm sorry, not habits. You gotta understand the options. And once you understand the options, you kind of get to go pick what, what you get to do, right? Alright, he uses perception, I do key blast. Okay, he sidesteps, delays, I'm gonna wait here, watch him sidestep, punch him. Alright, he delays sidesteps, I'm gonna do my delay sidestep to catch his delay sidestep. These are kind of just fundamentals. Obviously, the, with everything, all the text coming out and everything, uh, maybe I'll make a video on that if you guys want me to do that, but... Like I said, I'm not going to really get into it, but I think this is everything. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.